my name's Martin Watkins. I'm the city manager. So I have the easiest job in the place. I showed up here four months ago and get to stand in front of a uh, kickoff of a program that's been a decade or two in the making. So uh, my job here today is just to sort of serve as an MC and keep things moving. Um, but thank you for joining with us. Um, it has been a, a fun four months for me here in Burlington, and this is uh, fun to walk in and just see something as wonderful as this program uh, off and running. And obviously, folks here in the audience, all of you have had a part to play in this and are to be congratulated for your part getting us to today. Um, we're thrilled to have you here. This is our uh, Worth Street Temporary Transit Hub. This is to commemorate a long-awaited and momentous accomplishment for the entire Alamance community. Uh, it's the, today is the launch of the Link Transit System. It's no secret this day's been a long time in the making. Everyone uh, is aware of that. As I said, it's been over a decade. Uh, the citizens of Alamance County, residents of Burlington, our, our, our staffs of our cities and county, community organizations, and a lot of visionary elected officials have come together to support, design, and put together this collaborative public transportation system. And as you know, the funding of that took some courage and some bold action on, on, behalf of, on behalf of our elected leaders, and we are uh, forever appreciative of that courageousness that was courageousness that was displayed. So everyone here today, you played a critical role in making the launch of this system a reality, and we want to thank you for that and express our appreciation. I want to take a few minutes here at the beginning of our program to recognize some of our distinguished guests. If you would please raise your hand as I call your name, we have uh, our congressman. Mark Walker is with us. Mr. Walker, Congressman Walker. <laughs> Congressman Walker is joined by his district director, Julie Emmons. <laughs> we have a representative from Congressman David Price's office with us today, District Liaison Tracy Lovett. From Office of U.S. Senator Richard Burr is his field representative, Mike Finley. Mike. From the Office of U.S. Senator Tom Tillis is his regional representative, Nick Wilkinson. Nick. From our Burlington City Council today, uh, I'm going to inter introduce all of our council members, uh, Mayor Ian Baltudis, Mayor Pro Tem CeeLo Fawcett, Councilmember Jim Butler, Councilmember Bob Ward, and also want to acknowledge Councilmember Kathy Hikes, who's not able to join us today. Can we give all of them a round of applause? <laughs> Representing our partners in Gibsonville, the Gibsonville Board of Aldermen represented today are Mayor Lenny Williams and Alderwoman Veronica Revels. Alamance County is one of our partners. We'd like to acknowledge the Alamance County Commissioners, Chairman Eddie Boswell, Vice Chairman Bob Bird, Linda Massey, Roger Parker, and David Smith. <laughs> We'd also like to acknowledge the members of our Public Transit Advisory Commission, Neil Bromelo, Mike Mills, Robert Hall, Howie Norwick, Moses Corbett, Robin Winteringham, Bob Bird, and Veronica Revels. I'd like to acknowledge all of our United Way of Alamance County board members and staff. If you would please raise your hands to be recognized. Thank you very much. <laughs> We'd like to acknowledge Patrick Harmon from the Hayden Harmon Foundation. <laughs> We'd like to acknowledge our representatives from the Friends and Advocates for Sustainable Transportation. Would you please raise your hand? Be recognized. Representing another of our partners, Alamance Community College, we'd like to recognize Dr. Algie Gatewood, Dr. Terry McNeil, and Ed Williams. you please raise your hand? <laughs> so as the staff guy here, I also don't want to forget about our staff uh, participation from the town of Gibsonville, from the city of Burlington, and Alamance County. The staff has been working, as you all know, once you get to the policy process to move forward, and the funding is lined up, it's when staff takes it over and makes it a reality. Uh, so if all staff members from those three organizations would raise their hand, let's give them a round of applause too. <laughs> and 
And although we've had a few folks who have retired from the city, there are a few folks that uh, would, we would not uh, be doing things uh, correctly if we didn't give them a special acknowledgement. We'd like to acknowledge former Mayor Ronnie Wall, our retired city manager here in Burlington, Harold Owen, and retired city attorney Charles Bateman. If each of them would raise their hand, give them a round of applause. And again, thanks to everyone for the time, the energy, the passion, the talent, the sweat, the tears you put into making this project happen. Link, Link Transit is a reality for the community. Uh, today is your day, today is the community's day to celebrate this wonderful gift that we've made possible to increase the mobility options for our community. So I'm going to yield the microphone at this point to Burlington Mayor Ian Baltudas. Mayor? Thank you, Manager. Thank you, everyone, for being here today. This is a bright day for Burlington, and not just because the sun decided to come out and grace us today, but because we have these beautiful buses that have already been out on our streets, exciting citizens, building awareness of transportation and the barrier that it has been in our community. And we are excited that bright and early Monday morning, that barrier comes down with the help of, of seven buses running all across our community, across these five routes reaching all the way from Gibsonville all the way out to Alamance Community College tying together multiple cities across our <coughs> metropolitan area and reaching over 80 different stops in our community tying together residential neighborhoods with businesses health care options and education opportunities so again tearing down that barrier that has been transportation for so many years in our community and really creating opportunity for all of our citizens Talent and creativity are evenly distributed across our community, but opportunities aren't always. And Lake Transit is a tremendous part of making sure that all citizens have access to the opportunities they need in Burlington. We thank everyone who invested their time and energy in this project, and we hope that this investment in our community is just the beginning of bright things for the future of Burlington. Thank you. Now we'd like to ask Mayor Lenny Williams from Gibsonville, who has been a longtime advocate. I think he's told us maybe 20 years of advocacy to see today happen. Uh, so if you join me in welcoming Gibsonville Mayor Lenny Williams. Thank you, sir. When this thing, thing started, I had an afro that was out here. <laughs> Look at me now. <laughs> If, if, if you wonder how come I had this hat on, so many people get me mixed up with CeeLo Fossil. And I want to make sure they didn't do that today. But this is an exciting day for me and for the town of Gibsonville and for the citizens of Berlin, Burlington and Alamance County. This is a great day for Alamance Regional High School. This is a great day for ACC. I'm so happy that the students in Gibsonville can walk out to the corner of the street and get a bus a dollar or maybe 50 cents depending on what the age is of. It is a great time and I do want to take a moment to acknowledge Mayor Wall. Mayor Wall was on the card board with me and we sat next to each other and every time we had a meeting I was talking about the transit system. And I also want to acknowledge CeeLo Fawcett and, and Jim Butler. Back in 10 years ago we were taking a lot of heat. Uh, they took the heat I kept it. I ran. <laughs> but it didn't bother me. The heat didn't bother me because if, if it, but Burlington didn't do it, we wouldn't do it. We're so happy that Burlington saw fit not to give up on it when everybody was complaining. I do want to recognize our board member, uh, Veronica Revers. So glad you're here. And our town manager. I know you've been recognized by the Duke. They worked hard at trying to get this thing going. One of the, I want to say to the people of Gibsonville, on Monday morning, kick those walking boots off and say, I'm going to ride the bus. Because if you don't ride it, the bus is not going to stay. And I want to make sure that you know that you have to ride it. Again, I want to thank the City Council of Burlington when we were trying to get this thing going, we want other towns to get involved with it. 
they decided not to. But we all got together. And there's a song that they used to sing in the church that I used to go to. It said, I'll go if I have to go by myself. So Burleson and, and, and Gibsonville sang the song, We Will Go, if we have to go by ourselves. And they did. And Monday morning in Gibsonville, for the first time in the 32 years I've been there, you'll be able to walk out and get on the bus and go to the hospital, to go take visit friends, to go to ACC, to go to shop, to go to several places. So all I'm saying to you today, this is a historic event. I'm excited. Yes, it, I was young when this thing started, 20 years ago. I thought I was young anyway. And, and I still think I'm young, but my wife keeps telling me I'm not. I, but anyway, this is a great day for Alamance County. This is a, a great day for Burlington. This is a great day for Gibsonville. Go Gibsonville! Let's ride the bus! <laughs> Great job, Mayor. Thank you very much for sharing those words with us. Uh, you all may know this, but uh, the system does not happen without the participation and the support, the financial support of the federal government. Uh, so it may, may, may or may not care about all the accounting, but significant portions of the proceeds, uh, the funds that make this happen, come from the federal government. And I think it's fitting that we have our representative from Washington, Congressman Walker, is with us today to share a few words uh, representing our 6th District. But we want to thank you for your part and, and making things, great things like ha this happen in our community. Representative Walker. Thank you, Mr. Watkins, also mayors from Burlington and Gibsonville, city council members, commissioners, so many people that had a part in this. You know it's something special when you have this many Republicans and Democrats acting like they're sharing love with each other today. <laughs> so this, is, this is a big day. Uh, we just were a few minutes ago uh, honoring our community hero of the month, the gentleman from right here in Alamance County, James McCurry, and uh, talking about the community involvement. You know, heroes are people who are willing to give back to the community when the credit doesn't happen immediately. And some of you folks here today, some of you people, this has been a long-term investment. Uh, it, and there are probably many other people that names may not even be recognized today that were willing to see the vision of what could happen. A vision that would allow, as the mayor of Gibsonville just talked about just a second ago, when it comes to people being able to go and, and, and get education, to get health care, to be able to bridge that gap, to be able to offer those facilities, that's, a, that's an incredible vision. Now, I, uh, I, do, I did hear there's a specific uh, party bus call, called the Batutas Party Bus with a disco ball. <laughs> I don't know where that's being kept at, but I hope we get a chance to ride on that a little bit later on. I, I appreciate everyone today who is willing to come out to be able to say, hey, this is a new day for Burlington, Gibsonville, and potentially other cities in this county, to be able to see the impact that when people are willing to work together to see what can be accomplished. It's our privilege to be here from D.C. to help kick this special day off. Thank you again to so many of you who have put countless time, hours, and resources and investment to it. God bless you, and let's see great things for Alamance County continue. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Walker, for being with us today. Uh, at this point, I'm going to ask Mike Nunn, our Director of Transportation for the City of Burlington, and Rachel Kelly, our Communications Director, to come forward. We've got some special recognition uh, to our decision makers uh, and folks that played, uh, made it possible for us to have this system today. And uh, also, we want let's give Congressman Walker one more round of applause, if you would. So, Mike, Rachel.
we've got Burlington City Council member Jim Butler. And Burlington City Council member Bob Ward. Back up, uh, Gibsonville Mayor Lenny Williams. Yeah. You go, man. You're you right, Mayor. <laughs> oh, and playing two roles today, Alderwoman and Public Transit Advisory Commission right. member Veronica Revel. Advisory Commission Vice Chairman Mike Mills. All right, and Public Transportation Advisory Commission Member Ronald Hall. <laughs> Next, we have Public Transit Advisory Commission Member Robin Winteringham. Public Transit Advisory Commission member Howie Norwood. And we have Public Transit Advisory Commission member Moses Corbett. Commission member Bob Bird. And finally, if we could invite uh, Congress Congressman Mark Walker back up. All right, next we'll do the ribbon cutting, so we'll help you guys get up here and we're going to pull the ribbon out. Yeah. 